Hello guys, coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're going to be doing rapid fire questions segment number 51. But first, all right, so let's get into this. You know how we do it. You've already seen possibly 50 of these things. It's crazy. I've answered so many of y'all's questions, but we're going to keep it going until we get to 100 or 200 or 1,000, whatever. I'll keep answering your questions because nobody else is doing this for you. So show us some love by hitting the subscribe button and also sharing our videos for us. I greatly appreciate that. And don't forget to shop with us at downforsoundshop.com. All right, let's get into this. Question number one is from Ronnie Tavares. It says, hey JP, what would be the best amp for four Defbonts 67AN Neo? Plan to run four T25 tweeters off the head unit and two 3012Rs on an AAK 6000. Man, I got the perfect amp for you. We literally just got it in. It's the JP454. Check that amplifier out. I think you'll be impressed with it. It's a beast, and it'll power those speakers perfectly. It'll give you a little bit more power, but it's going to be amazing for you, so check that one out. JP454. Up next, we have Jorge. Hey, JP, i got a question for you. I plan on getting a second alternator for just car audio. Will a 320 amp alternator overcharge one of your... D4S LTO 6.0 or any lithium battery if it's ran for a couple of hours without draining the battery at all. Just want to know if it's safe for long road trips without music. Yeah, it'll be fine because your alternator is gonna, not going to put out anything more than, than is being requested of it. So if you have a 320 amp alternator, the only time that it's going to be putting out that 320 amps is if you have your system like really pounding and it's like drawing that much uh, current from it but if you don't have your system on or anything it's not going to be putting out any power so you don't have anything to worry about I mean it'll be very little 5 10 20 amps something like that so yes it would be perfectly fine next we have Jonathan J it says hey JB great video I've been watching you for several years now I have two scar ZVR SVR sorry SVR 15s on sundown SAB 1500 with plans to add black diamond mids and highs with an amp now the big three done, what would you recommend for upgrading the electrical as far as under the hood battery or adding a second battery to the system? First thing I would recommend doing is upgrading your alternator to a Mechman 240 at least. Uh, and you already have the big three done, so you're good there. And then secondly, I would put a uh, down for sound LTO 6.0 battery in the back next to the amplifiers and you should be golden. That would be my recommendation. Up next we have King Lex Zero or King Lexo 91. On the hunt for six B2 Audio Rampage 8 Dual 2s. Uh, JP, what amp would you pair with them? I'm not really familiar with them. I think they're probably, if I had to guess, like they're going to be rated around 700 watts, maybe 1,000. Um, what amp would you pair with them? And would three LTO 6.0 be good start for powering the system? Or is there something that is better? This would be going in my 2000 Durango with 240 amp alternator, excess power under the hood. Also, should I go bracket? Should I go bracket for dual 240 amp? 240 is the highest I've seen around. Um, <clears throat> if you're only going to be running those um, those subwoofers and an amplifier, so an amplifier for those, um, I would recommend a JP. If I'm thinking correctly, if they're 8 inch subwoofers, I would recommend a JP33 at least, but probably a JP43. Just depends on how much you want to push them. And you can always go up to a JP63, but those three um, LTO 6.0s would deal with that power no problem. Either one of those amplifiers, so you'd be good on that. Up next, we have Happy Girl 83AC. It says, Hey JP, I'm a big fan. How many Amper Audio AA 3.0 V4 18s can I run off of a JP 63 at 0.5? If the JP 63 is too much, what would you recommend for them? I think you would be good with uh, two of those subs on that amp at 0.5. I think it would be a good matchup, so you kind of already did your own homework, uh, it seems like. But anyway, appreciate you asking the questions. As always, if you all have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And if we see them, we'll try to answer them for you. We'll see you in the next video. Later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, 
TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price, and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there, so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.